Hey, what's up, man? I want to talk to y'all about fighting depression. Now, I know this is a sensitive topic to some people. It may not be everybody, but I know some people out there, it's, it's tough to talk about. And I get it. I mean, you know, I, I fight depression. I think everyone fights depression in some sense or form. You know, some on higher scales, some on low. Um, but I'm going to walk through, like, how... I recently fought depression. Now, my depression wasn't on a high scale. Um, it was just life. You know, you deal with things. Um, everyone has that depression level. You just have to, um, you know, be aware of where you're at in life. And um, I was dealing with some things um, in life, you know, family, friends, relationships, um, you know, work life, just a lot of things going, a lot of circumstances that I had to work through. So, how did I work through them? Um, one thing that um, I, I did was I removed all the toxic people out of my life. Um, and what I, what I mean by that is um, not just, you know, family and friends, but hell, even you, you know, you can be toxic. So I identified the toxic people. How did I do this? I identified anything that, anything that, um, you know, didn't, resonate with me as far as peace goes i i'm big on keeping my peace and if it's not peaceful if it's not a peaceful environment i don't like to be in it um even if it's myself i drive that out you know so if you get around somebody and it's not peaceful cut them out uh, another thing that um, i found that really worked was finding productivity all right you have to be productive I think progress equals happiness. Production equals happiness. When you're handling your business, you feel good. And that's just, that's with anything. Like, when you on top of your stuff, you feel good. You're like, man, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and a lot of times, you know, people forget about the short-term goals, um, you know, thinking long-term. That's great. But, you know, set little, small, little tasks. You know, it may be, you know, running that errand for the day. It may be, you know, not eating a certain snack. Um, it may be, you know, sending that email or, you know, hitting up one of your old friends or, uh, you know, making sure you get that project done or making sure you do a piece of that project. You know, maybe not finishing that project today, but checking that off, man, them endorphins get to running in your head, man. They get to turn it up and you just feel good. So find productivity, um, you know, get creative, find something that, you that makes your creative side of you come out and you know use that as fuel for happiness now next thing that um i would recommend um that i do is exercise uh when you don't have exercise in your life and you work a desk job which most people in america do and you know even if you don't work a desk job you know take that walk around the block it doesn't have to be a full-fledged sprint I ain't trying to, you know, turn you into Usain Bolt. <laughs> I'm just saying, just find something, um, you know, whether that's taking a walk or whether that's taking a light jog or walking a dog, something that gets you active and moving and not always thinking. Because when you're depressed, your mind is running in all different directions. When you're depressed, you're really evaluating your bullshit. You're really evaluating, like, Dang, like I'm BSing or this happened and this is my fault. Um, depression, I don't look at it. I embrace that depression in, in the sense of like, I don't want to be depressed. Nobody wants to be depressed. Everybody wants to be happy. But when it happens, I know I need to get my shit together. You know, I need to reevaluate things. But these are some of the tools that I use and I just recommend it to anybody. Um, it, it, it'll help, you know, and maybe there's... Some other things that you can do that you can look up on Google, but these are some of the things I just wanted to talk about to all my followers, um, to everybody that's you know that has liked this page. Um, I appreciate you, and I don't know, stay tuned. You know, it's Ronnie G, and I got to kick it raw and uncut. Appreciate y'all.